What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me today on another episode of How to Draw. And today, we're going to be learning how to draw a cow. This is an easy one, so it's for all skill levels. So grab your pen, your paper, your pencil, your marker, your crayon, whatever you got, and follow along with me as we draw this tasty, juicy cow. So let's move on over to the drawing part. It's now time to draw the cow. So we'll start with his head, which is a circle, and his snout, which is also a circle. And his body, that is a bean shape. Okay, now a little dial tone. And could I have some electronic dance music, please? Thank you. Now, we'll finish the ear. Very nice. And we'll move on to his tail. He's got a pointy tail. Beautiful. And a leg. Because he needs a leg to stand on and a front leg to stand on while he grazes in the field and does cow-like things. Don't worry about the other legs, we'll get to them. And now we can begin to ink him. Excellent. Start with the horn and move on to the other horn. And his, no, no. What an utter mistake. All right, now a lot of people think when they're drawing that uh, they want to steer clear of the mistakes but it's not important that's what drawing's about drawing's about making mistakes and experimenting and having fun after all it's not like the stakes are high all right holy cow that's a lot of cow jokes my apologies if i butchered them now we'll go with the ear and give him a hump We'll give him a nice hump in the back because he's a humpback cow, humpback cow with a leg. Finish his back leg, finish it now. Give him a back leg because he's a cow. There we go. And the other back leg that is hidden behind his other leg. Draw that belly, draw that belly. Give him a front leg. Good. Follow the lines that we did and go up his chest, connect his neck to his head, and then draw his jaw, and connect it to his mouth, and there you have it, sides, wait, hold on, you gotta give him his other leg, and of course, make some room, make some room for his tail, give him a tail, so he can swat away the flies, while he grazes in the field, eating grass and doing other cow-like things. I don't really know what cows do. I just see them out there eating grass. So, of course, he needs a tiny hat because he's outside in the sun and he needs some shade for his eyeballs. Uh, yeah, stripes. No, I'm not feeling the stripes. Let's go with something else, like some polka dots. Yes, those are big polka dots. Uh, give him a little eyeball first and polka dot, polka dot, polka dot. There we go, done. And now, give him a little line here, some detail lines for the tail as well to indicate hair and hooves. He's gonna need his hoof lines. Give him some hooves. He needs his hooves. So don't forget his hooves. And once you have his hooves done, you've got yourself a cow. Congratulations, you've drawn a cow. You should be proud of yourself. And I don't know much about cows, but I think they like to eat chocolate. Because I heard if you give a cow chocolate, his milk will be chocolate milk. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's true. Either way, we're going to give him chocolate. So there's his chocolate. 
put it right down by his feet so he sees it. And this part will speed up, as always, because it's up to you now to color in your cow and your chocolate bar. Making it whatever color you feel necessary. What color do you think this cow should be? My cow is going to be chocolate, because he eats chocolate. And like most stereotypical cows, he says moo. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and you don't have too much beef with it. Beef? <laughs> like, like a cow? Beef? Get it?